I thought I'd do a quick update on what's happening with me Corbin. When I sent it off to travel around the world, which was over 12 months ago, it went to the Pompey Picker first, and they came up with a great idea of adding a book with it, so everybody can write in the book how long they've had it, whether they've picked it open, people have been putting the stickers in there. It's travelled around the world, and this book's always been with it. But unfortunately, recently, somebody has accidentally thrown the book in the bin with the packaging. It was a genuine mistake, and nobody's at fault, so I'm not blaming anybody for it. These things happen. But whilst I was trying to find out who had had the book last, I was watching all the previous videos of people who's had the Corbin. Uh, some picked it, some didn't. And what I thought I'd do was put a little uh, video together of everybody who's had the Corbin up to now. The Corbin's been in England for a while, but now it's actually on its way to Ireland to a picker called Picks and Pistons Lock Picking. Uh, once he's had it for a week, hopefully it'll move on somewhere else. I'd like to see it go to some countries it's not been to yet, but that's obviously up to the person who's got the lock. They decide where they want to send it next. The video I've done lasts about 10 minutes. You see some fails, you see some opens, but everybody who's had a go at picking it, I've also put links to their channel and links to the videos they did picking it in the description below. So grab yourself a drink, get yourself some popcorn, sit back, watch some people get really annoyed and frustrated with it, and then watch some people get really excited when that shackle pops open. So here's the video coming up. I hope you enjoy it. And there it is. Beautiful all brass US Corbin. It's time to say goodbye to uh, Brummy Lock Pickers. Corbin. Um, I've had it for a week now and I can't get it open uh, at all. I think I may have got close a couple of times. Or I shall stick that in the post uh, tomorrow morning. Um, what I've also uh, come up with is, like a, I suppose it's a little sort of log book of, uh, of where we uh, where it's going to go. So I've, these stickers came on, on Brummie's uh, packaging when he sent me the lock, so I thought I'd take those off and I'll put them on a little log book. Here she is in all the glory. So did I get her open? Well, first, Pompey Picker uh, had a good attempt and was unsuccessful. And I've spent uh, five, five hours off and on on this lock. And I failed to get her open. And here it is. I was going to tell y'all that uh, I couldn't get it open. <laughs> I tried and tried and tried. I just could not do it. Sorry, Brummy. But I just couldn't do it. I picked on it every day. But anyway, Murloc uh, are getting in touch with me, so I'll send it to you. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all letting me get a go at it. I just want to say thanks. And there she is. Oh, boy. Well, I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's a tough lock. I'm definitely going to give it another crack. It's a puzzle, I'll tell you that. Again, I'm still a firm believer that there's nothing wrong with the lock. Okay, this is my last day with the Brummy Pick My Corbin. And as you can see, <laughs> it is still locked. Um, I have tried some more things with it. This is sort of my end recap. Um, <clears throat> can't be sham, or I was not able to shim it, bypass it. So I will fill this out with a whooped uh, and a, you know, un unhappy face. Um, now, even Suki did not get this open. So that's, a, it's a tough, tough lock. Um, so it goes on to Cherokee. It Hi guys, well here we go again, Brummie's Corbin. Um, I'm gonna give this lock another 15 minutes and then I'm just gonna call a whipped um, I cannot get this lock open, and uh, I don't know if it's pickable. Well, we're at 17 minutes. 
I'm pulling the plug, guys. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to declare this one a whip. Um, really wish I would have had the time to open it. It's going to be a fail from me, and uh, it'll be off to Dusty and Windy next. Um, first thing is pick my Corbin. No way. I am just not the man for this job. I have gone at this way everything I can think of. Um, I just, I just can't figure this out. This right here will be going to Georgia Gym. All right. <clears throat> well, that's it for me. This thing's going to be going to Corn Cob, so, uh, Corn Cob, have fun with it. Hopefully you learn something. Probably not, but, uh, maybe. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, whoever gets this Corbin open, my hat's off to you. You're a better picker than me. That, that will be it. That will be my my final entry into Brummie's Corbin. So, I'll be sending this off to Bone in the Box next. And maybe he'll have better luck than I did. And Brummie, this, this lock is... It's like it's something else. Thanks for uh, sharing this with the community. Mm-hmm. You saw it here first, my friends. Indeed, you did. There it is. Enjoy. Room picker. It's all yours next, buddy. Anyways, I don't want to bore you with my stupid picking abilities. I just want to show you the Corbin again. This is a beautiful lock. If anybody has one of those and stock lock with key, I would willing to trade something in for that. I need one of those in my life. All right. That's it. Thank you for watching. This lock just mocked me continuously. I put 14 hours into failing. I have just joined the long list of failed pickers. Thanks Brummy for sending this out to remind us that old locks are tough locks. Two is binding. Okay, we'll click out of two. And we are open. So not too bad there at all actually. And so I am very, very happy with that. Um, wow, yeah, so uh, what a tricky, tricky lock that is. I'm very, very pleased I got it open. Oh, there's no denying that this is one evil Corbin. Okay, there we go. Ooh, bingo. Ooh. There she blows, Brummie's Corbin. Thanks for sending that over, Daz. Hi guys, I've got a hold of uh, Brummie Lock Pickers, pick my Corbin. Um, as you can see right here, this is actually Burmese uh, Corbin. I think it's this one. Yeah. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. I set the pin. But I didn't get nothing. Dang it. Yeah. I almost was excited. Oh, look. I got it, baby. Lucky there. There's the open. You learn something new all the time in this sport, and what I've learned this week is I can't pick this lock. Um, yeah, as it does ever said, it is one tough lock to pick. I've spent about half an hour every night for the last week trying to pick this, and she's 
whooped my ass. This is DMAC, and today I am looking at this very nice all brass Corbin padlock. That's one binding. Difficult to get on a bloody ball bearing. Oh, that was one nice deep full set on one. Just a counter rotation on two, and I think, yeah, we're open. Fantastic. That definitely took a little bit of a battle there. Now today we have the Brummies Corbin. It arrived to me this morning, sent to me by DMAC. So as you can see, a few people's managed to get it open, but could you get it open? If you'd like to have a crack at it, what you need to do is follow people's videos and just comment on their videos and see if they'll pass it on to you next. I hope you enjoyed watching pickers from around the world trying to get the old Corbin open. It also got stranded in Hong Kong for a while. It was never meant to go to Hong Kong, but it got stuck in their customs for about three weeks. So it's a well-travelled lock. Well, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.